Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Camp Blood Media, Josh here. Today we'll be checking out the new trailer for Netflix's Fear Street, based on the book series by R.L. Stein. I'm sure most of you have probably read a Goosebumps book before. I know I used to read a bunch of them back in the day, but I never actually read any Fear Street books before. I'm not sure if they kind of fall on the same line as the Goosebumps books or if maybe they're a little freakier, but I'm definitely curious to check out what this new trailer has in store, because apparently the Netflix adaptation is going to be rated R versus the book series that are rated PG, so I'm excited to hop in and check out this trailer, so let's get into it. There was a time when things were good on Shadyside. Mm -hmm. But now, that's all gone. Oh man, I turn the wood around with the skeleton hand, yeah. Okay, okay. Don't answer the phone! Hello? You're still alive. Who is this? It's happening again. Ooh. Kind of gives me a little bit of it vibes from the description. Tonight is Sunnyvale vs. Shadyside. Red versus blue, good. Oh, she's from Stranger Things. We commence a Kate. Color. Yeah, having a J. Oh no. Oh, this must be the trailer for all three of them. That was nineteen. Oh shit. Nine hundred thirty-seven days ago. Shadyside, a history of horror has guess they're not scared to kill off kids in this. Capital, USA. It's happening to us. Shadyside Mall. I'm mega getting Stranger These Things flies from this now, too. Over and over. <laughs> you were the only person who survived. How do I don't remember know? anyone's throat getting slit in Goosebumps books. Where it all started. 1666. Jesus, 1666? The devil has come. To feast on our misdeeds. If they want a witch. Witches! Witches! I will curse this tomb. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> bash his head right through the door. It's I'm, I'm down to watch all three of these. It's three weeks, they're gonna be back to back to back? It stops with us. Who the hell was that? How should I know? She was hot! This looks awesome. The bitch seemed normal. Amazing observation. Best 1994. Chance to run this place. Go, go, go! 1978, Halloween, awesome. It's 1666. What a big jump backwards. Any sense you're fighting these things? Try not to die. Definitely getting hit by some of this. Welcome to the suck. Oh, he's burning everyone alive, these poor kids. That looks awesome! Holy shit, they're so close together! Woo! Alright, so that was a full trailer for Netflix's Fear Street. All three parts, I guess. That looks really awesome. I'm actually pretty excited to see it now. I was getting heavy Stranger Things and It vibes from it, especially where there's this monster that's attacking the same town over the course of every so many years. It's That's really, really makes me think of It and that kind of storyline. But I don't really mind that too much because I really like the It movie, so I'm excited to see a little bit of that in this. It also kind of feels a little bit like Stranger Things with all the kids running around, and it even has Max from Stranger Things in this. So I'm curious to see if they can differentiate themselves a little bit from those two franchises. But if not, I'm gonna be perfectly happy with what they give us because the whole trailer looked really good. People getting their throats split and getting burned alive and different monsters and stuff. I'm definitely excited to check with all three parts of this. The synopsis for the series reads, in the Fear Street trilogy in 1994, a group of teenagers discovers the terrifying events that have haunted their town for generations and they all be connected, and that they may be the next targets. Fear Street Part 1, 1994. A circle of teenage friends accidentally encounter the ancient evil responsible for a series of brutal murders that have plagued their town for over 300 years. Welcome to Shadyside. And then after that, we've got Part 2, which takes place in 1978. Shadyside, 1978. School's out for the summer and the activities at Camp Nightwing are about to begin. But when another shady sider is possessed with the urge to kill, the fun in the sun becomes a gruesome fight for survival. 
And in part three, we're in 1666, and it says, the origins of Sierra Fear's curse are finally revealed as history comes full circle on a night that changes the lives of Sunnysiders forever. So after reading that and checking out the trailer, I'm definitely going to be checking these out, and I'll probably review them too, because I actually loved the Goosebump books when I was younger. I read pretty much all of them. I'm sure I missed a few here and there, but I read a huge chunk of them. I'm not sure how I ended up missing Fear Street. I don't know if maybe it was like an after my generation kind of thing and they came out a bit later, or maybe I just never came across them. But I'm very interested to check out these three movies. And the fact that they're coming out back to back to back in three weeks like that is even better. I expected Netflix to release the first one and then maybe like two months later release the next one and then the next one. But getting them all back to back like that is super exciting. All right, guys, what did you think of Netflix Fear Street trailer? Let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what you think of the Goosebump books. I really loved them when I was a kid, so I'm excited to hear what you guys thought of them. All right, till the next one. Have a good one. Too.